This video shows how to test SNMP communication on the flight system's Gen Pulse. It also assumes that you've already set up your device and you're familiar with the M2M setup application. You must also have the Passler SNMP tester application on your computer. Open the M2M setup application and connect to your modem. In order for SNMP to work properly, you must have the M2M server and port setting completely cleared. You can change your SNMP community name to whatever you'd like, but the default is GenPulse. Go to your Ethernet config tab and copy your IP address. Disconnect from the modem and close the application. You can now start up Passler SNMP Tester. Paste the IP address of the modem into the device IP box and check that the port is set for 161. Your SNMP version should be SNMP version 2C. Make sure your community name matches what was set up in the M2M application. For this test, we're going to load the MIB file from the package into scan script and check repeat every 5 seconds. Hit your start button and you should see SNMP communication. We've gotten our values back, so everything looks successful. We'll switch over to a custom OID and make sure that we get the correct value back for that register. This shows that we've received a single register back that has the same OID number. Hitting the button multiple times, shows that we have no dropped packets. Here, we can see successful bulk requests. We had no errors or dropped packets, so we can consider this a successful test.